Hi there, this is a demo of the solution for the Tech Jobs console assignment for the C Sharp skill track of LC 101. Uh, we like to provide demos of assignments usually working up on the internet, but this is a console application, and so it's hard for us to provide a working demo for you to play around with without actually giving you the solution uh, code. So we're just gonna walk through a demo here and give you a chance to, to experience how this solution should look and feel. So I'm in the Tech Jobs console um, solution and I'm going to just go ahead and run it and demo some of the basic features for you. So again, when we start this app, we have two basic ways of uh, looking at our data. We can either search within the data or we can list the data. Let's go ahead and look at the list functionality first. So if I enter list, I can list by um, either all of the, the jobs in the, in the data set or I can list by the values of a specific column. So let's go ahead and list all of them just to see what that looks like. And we just got a lot of data, obviously. So um, it's hard to verify that this is indeed every single item in the data set, but um, just based on the sheer number, you can guess that that probably was the case. Notice that our data here is nicely formatted in the console and it's readable, and it contains all of the fields from the CSV file, name, employer, location, position type, and core competency or skill. Okay, so let's go ahead and list uh, data by one of the columns. When we go to list a specific column, so we're, we're using one of the options that isn't all under the list feature, that's gonna give us the unique values in that column. So for example, let's look at location. That lists all of the unique locations that are listed in the data set, okay? So it's not uh, every job or every location, it's all of the unique values. And so let's go ahead and list something else such as skill. So these, these are all the possible skills that you could look for. So you might list by skill and then see that you have, uh, you know, a .NET and you can then search for jobs that are .NET jobs. Let's go ahead and look at the search functionality. So let's go ahead and search for .NET jobs. Why not? So I'm going to search by skill and my search term will be .NET. And these are all jobs that list .NET as the core competency or the, the core skill. Okay, let's go ahead and search by skill again. And here I'm gonna search for Ruby and notice that it's all in lowercase because my search in general should be case insensitive. So I just searched for Ruby and I got three results back. You can see there that that's only three results. And each of these results lists Ruby in the skill. Um, these two Ruby is the, the full skill that's listed here, Ruby is part of the skill string, so your, your search should be um, containment oriented. If the column contains uh, the, the value Ruby, you should return that result. And note that these are all capitalized. So indeed our case, our search is case insensitive. Let's go ahead and search again for say um, location. And let's search for jobs in Portland. And there we go, we've got a bunch of jobs in Portland. Again, case insensitive. And then finally, your search, when it doesn't return any results, it should give you a nice message. So let's search for jobs in a city for which we know we don't have any jobs. I'm gonna search for jobs in Denver. Okay, so we got a nice message there that said there were no results. So again, um, refer to the assignment instructions in detail for, for all the details about how to go about this. Um, don't consider this demo a replacement for any of that or, or for how your application should work. This is just meant to be a demo to be helpful to give you an idea of uh, what the finished product should look like. So good luck with the assignment and happy coding.